What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. The Black Ops Cold War Alpha is officially a couple days away, however, there does seem to be quite a bit of confusion on how to actually join, so today we're going to be clearing all of that up, plus I want to let you know what changes I would like to see and more. So guys, the Black Ops Cold War beta is set to launch first for PS4 on October the 8th this week, but only for the PS4 players with early access, meaning you gotta pre-order the game first, and you must pre-order the game on the PlayStation Store. If you pre-ordered at a retail store, sadly, you won't be able to play on this day. Again, you must pre-order the game on the PSN Store. After you do that, then you're gonna be all set, and come October the 10th, the Black Ops Cold War beta will automatically download onto your console. So October the 10th through the 12th is the official open beta, meaning anyone that has access to internet can install the beta and play. You don't need a pre-order, you don't even need PS Plus, all you gotta do is search up Black Ops Cold War on the PSN store, and you're gonna be able to play the beta. I can't stress that enough because a lot of people are confused about needing codes, what days am I able to play, etc. Mainly because Xfinity is giving out free beta codes to the customers, but those codes are only gonna be good for the early access day. So if you are an Xfinity customer, go to xfinity.com slash call of duty, sign into your account, and then you can request a code. You may have also got one from watching the CDL Champs stream in August, so check your emails just in case. But now moving on to the second weekend of the beta, this is gonna be for all platforms, PS4, Xbox One, and the PC, which will start on October the 15th, but again, you must have early access on this day. So if you haven't yet, pre-order the game by going onto the Xbox One or Blizzard store, and again, the beta will automatically download onto your system. But then on the 17th through the 19th, the beta will be available to every single platform. So if you don't want to pre-order the game and want to test out the beta first before playing the new COD, then this will be the day when you can do that. So just to reiterate again, for this year's Call of Duty beta, you do not need a code. But if you do happen to get one, then that code is only going to be good for you to play on the early access days. And you can enter it on the website, which I have linked down below in the description. And then after that, when the early access day starts, check your emails because you should be getting an email from Call of Duty that contains the beta download code, which you can redeem on the PSN or Xbox store. I hope I was able to clear up any questions you may have, but if there is something you want to ask, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll answer it the best I possibly can. Also, there is an FAQ for the beta, which I will have linked down below. The file size for the beta is expected to be around 77 gigs on console. On PC though, I don't even know what to expect it to be around, but I'm pretty sure whatever it is, it's gonna be insanely huge. But now Tony Flame has given us an update on some changes made to the beta, and he said that the beta itself is quite an upgrade from the alpha. I don't think anyone quite realizes what this team can do in a short amount of time. From new features to the core feel, nearly everything has taken leaps forward. And my favorite part though, the new lobby music it kicks it now to be honest i don't even think the pre-alpha lobby music was that bad like i was bumping to it that was one of the very first few things i said when i first got into a game i really really love the music but a lot of other youtubers have said that the pre-alpha they played on was completely different from the alpha that ps4 players were able to play on a couple weeks ago which is kind of crazy to think about like what other changes could y'all have made from that pre alpha from that alpha to the beta which we're going to be getting this week i cannot wait to see what changes were made but as for some changes i hope to see one of them at the very top of my list is the wild cards primarily lawbreaker because lawbreaker allows you to use any primary as your secondary so it's kind of like overkill but also as an added bonus you can select any three perks of your choosing so you could run ghost ninja and dead silence for competitive i could already see that being a big issue but perk greed also gives you six perks so you can run just a bunch of attachments on your weapon and then six freaking perks like you're basically a walking super soldier at that point and i don't see a reason to run any other wild cards besides those two honestly so definitely i hope to see some sort of a rebalance or rework in terms of the wild cards um, footstep audio, hopefully that gets toned down just a tiny bit more because in the alpha, footstep audio was so, so loud to the point where I could literally predict the exact location and move 
of what my enemy player was going to be making. I don't think that should happen in Call of Duty. Footstep audio should be able to just be some sort of an indicator to let you know, hey, someone's around me. I should be all guns up and ready just in case. But I think kind of like the snipers, they were very strong on purpose so the devs could see how to correctly balance. So I think footstep audio was purposely made to be very high for that same reason. But speaking of snipers, I think the ADS speed should be nerfed. I got one shot a lot from literally any distance. The handling was super easy. So yeah, just in general, snipers need a big, big nerf. The knee sliding needs to be looked at as well because whatever is going on there, it felt like I was playing Advanced Warfare with the exo sliding. And I think the distance of the slide should be reduced. Um, tanks were also very lethal. I think they should be getting a bit of a balance there. And I also hope we could get some new perks, like different perks that actually do something new instead of just giving us the same thing but with a different title. Like Quartermaster is basically the same thing as Restock from you know, previous Call of Duty games just with a different title. I want something new, something innovative. Just give us a bit of a good mixture with new stuff. Same thing with field upgrades. I don't want to feel like I'm playing a Modern Warfare all over again. Finally, just some sort of an acknowledgement of skill-based matchmaking. I know we kind of got a little bit of interaction from a Treyarch dev that basically confirmed it was in older Call of Duty games, but it was a very, very close discussion. So. Maybe just if the devs could, you know, open that discussion up on Twitter and Reddit again and just hear us out more because SBMM was one of the top trending tweets all weekend long. I really want there to be an open discussion regarding this subject instead of ignoring it and acting like it doesn't exist in Call of Duty. But I don't want to talk too much about SBMM without proper testing and studying done, which I do think is going to happen come the beta this week. And then, of course, when the game officially launches. But anyways, guys, the beta is going to be going live this week. I'm super duper excited. Please tell me down below in the comments what would you like to see change. And again, if you have any questions regarding the beta, please tell me them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more, feel free to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can't miss out on a single video. Also, feel free to come hang out with me in my Discord server, Twitch stream, and over on Twitter. Links can be found down below. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.